Hello, Carol Taylor Carney here at Palane Arts, and I'm with Saya Okayama, yes. and I'm standing with her incredibly, not just beautiful, but intricate artwork, and she is going to tell us all about it. So this is uh, called Up and Away. Um, it's all made from the origami papers. Uh, so each origami roses is actually 72 holes for the each roses, and there's 55 roses in there. Uh, inspiration came from the when I went to New Mexico uh, International Balloon Fiesta oh, back yeah. in 2000. Uh, it's just a breathtaking moment, and, and I'm trying to recreate uh, the memory in my head with a paper. So I call my style with paint by papers. So that's how I do. So the background is also handmade paper from Nepal. Uh, the basket is a paper as well that's Japanese using paper. And the roses is a machine made origami paper. And if you look at the closely, the background uh, and the balloon, it looks like its background is sucking in like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it did it purposely and so sucking the air in the sky. So I try always put like a second meaning on my piece. So um, up and away, balloon is you know uh, like symbol for the freedom for us. So it's just up and away freedom and forget everything you know make you headache and go away to uh, stress free work. Not only that, with all the um, flower patterns in it, I sit there and I think I bet this smells wonderful. Um, <laughs> actually. It doesn't, it does. <laughs> so, but I, I another extra thing. But I also, how long does this take to yes. make? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, so I, I do a lot of folding uh, on my like uh, meditation time. So mm -hmm. the folding paper is my meditation. So I fold the last paper and leave on the side by color code it. And when I put it together, uh, I actually read the book. Same time, so that oh. depends on the mood on there. So this piece is specifically made for the uh, Howling Arts. So when I do this, I was actually reading the girl became artist and how you know she became successful story, Japanese story, and I made this one actually. Well, that's very interesting, and, and it just adds another layer to the narrative that you're telling us about up and away, our dreams, our future, yeah. and, 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 and grab it probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's that's brilliant. And um, I also want people to take a look at the colors because it never gets your eye rested. You you are I myself find my, find my eye moving throughout in and out of the of the balloon part too. And I love the value changes here. And yet you tie them together with the gold. Can you talk a little bit about how you approach the color, yeah. yeah. Approach the colors for so it's it's not the visually. So when I pick the color, um, I go with more like Japanese culture behind, like meaning behind. Mm -hmm. uh, so purple is like royalty, gold is uh, you know also like a you know, symbol for uh, prosperity. Or, yes, yeah. and like, you know freedom, and you know like mm -hmm. uh, have your own uh, the treasure, you know yourself. So a lot of color and a pattern of the paper, it's kind of hard to tell. And also have a meaning for successful and freedom. Those are the paper that I choose for those roses and basket. And also does the, uh, the paper roll as well. I love that about it too, that like essentially when you are looking at it from where I am about six or so feet back, you notice the like the overall color, but then the closer that you get to it, yeah. the more you can step in and see the intricacy of the pattern on the paper as the well. Paper, yeah. And so it's such a nuanced, it's so nuanced and comes together both mm -hmm. as a whole. And then when you are drawn in, you can really engage with the pattern and everything so, too. And if you see a little bit this way, and I also pick purposely the rainbow color as well. Yeah. The June five months. Yeah. As well too, so. Love that. So there's a couple of different, uh, you know, the reason why I pick paper and pattern and the colors and everything. Well, I also like that you have these lighter values down here where it's narrower and then really bold colors up here, just like a balloon would. 
take, get bolder and bigger and rounder. Well, and as the, take off, yeah. yeah. And as the sun hits the top of it, like the lighter, the like it, yeah. 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 And you then your see. air come here, so those background paper is like a crinkle in this way. So, so that way. Oh, I love this. And I am going to, because I can't help myself, uh, uh, Saya also has a beautiful uh, other piece that's in uh, of origami cranes that uh, are equally intricate and uh, it, it's lovely. I'm going to move it towards you. Tell me. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, guys. These chats have gone off the rails. Uh, perfect. Yeah. So both of these works, uh, I I love how. There's they're, such care and thoughtfulness in their yes. creation. Which they're, I, they're beautiful. They're decorative. They give a great deal of spirit. And then you get the sense of you were saying you do this with meditation. And it's like they, they make you feel that way. You really they stick, feel thoughtful. Yeah. Yeah. And intentional. Have you thought about where in a house or office? Because it would eat. These would equally go in either. These. So uh, a lot of people, uh, well, you know, even in my house, I would like the people to sit and watch this and relax and, you know, thinking about where you want to go. And go. That's, that sounds perfect. And I'm going to tell you where to go. You're going to go to Palling Arts and see Saya's beautiful art piece from June 2nd to August 7th. You did it. Yay. Thank you, everyone.